What's up guys, Kendrick Bourne here. Welcome back to my channel, man. We're going up. Today, man, I'm gonna be showing y'all how I study as a pro, um, how I've gotten better studying, um, and just trades and tricks to studying better, man. So, um, yeah, that's what I got going today. I'm gonna show y'all, I got my iPad here. So yeah, man, we're going up. Just giving y'all tips, man. Um, like and subscribe my channel, man. Go check out all my videos I've been posting, man. We consistently posting. So yeah, this is just something new. And we're gonna get right into it, man. So, gotcha. Yeah, man. So when I first got into sports, got into playing, especially football specifically, uh, I didn't really study, man. Didn't watch film. Kind of just was going out there playing free, not knowing coverages, not, you know, really studying to a T to where I could uh, excel at my role, you know, or whatever. So um, as I got older, uh, kind of got a little bit better in college. Like high school was literally none. College, um, kind of studied was kind of too much into the school parties and stuff like that man so i just wasn't really locked in as much as i should have been um and that's in the playbook uh on the film um and my techniques like i can go so much deeper than just film but uh college was definitely not as much as i should have been and then uh as i got to the league still was kind of like not in the film as much as i should have been not as interested, but uh, like my third year is kind of when I woke up, obviously when I had the Super Bowl run, uh, kind of just realized that it takes a lot more than just going to the field, um, lifting weights, you know, you got to study, you got to study your opponent, you got to study your own technique, you got to study your teammates, you know, he might be able to do something that you can't do or uh, that defensive player might do a technique that you don't really do good against. So, you know, it's things like that that you <clears throat> get from watching film, studying hard, uh, seeing different coverages, going into seeing the backups. You know, if you can get that far into it, you know, you'll never fail, in my opinion. But uh, once I got after the third year, I would say, <clears throat> is when I really got into it, uh, seeing coverages, seeing how the defense rotating, um, seeing my opponent, like really knowing what he's going to do, how he throws his hands, if he motor mirrors, if he's pressed. So it was just a lot of tips that I've gotten from studying over the last two years really hard watching film that uh, has helped me prevail my game. Like I've improved tremendously just from that little part of adding that to my, you know, uh, routine each day, watching a little bit of film, trying to learn. Yeah, man. So back to my point of not studying enough at that age, uh, I think it would just be key for you guys, whoever's watching to study, you know, learn how to study, learn how to see coverages and just get that feel early before you move on to college because it's hard, man. You go into college not knowing what's going on, and uh, they track all these iPads like in the league now, so I don't know how college works, but they know how much you're watching film. They know how much you're not watching film. They know when you turn it on or when it's off. So uh, it's just important for you, for your coaches to believe in you, and uh, it's just a great way to help your game, man. Like If you know what's going on, then you know how to run your route or you know how to adjust to the defense. But if you don't know what the DB or the safety is doing in front of you, then you're going to be out there like a chicken with his head cut off, simple as that, because you don't really know what's going on. You don't know how he's rotating. But if you would have watched the film all week and studied the, how they rotate or when the safety comes down, then you will be more aware of what you need to do when the moment comes because it's all quick reaction, as we all know, football. It ain't, you know, you don't have – 30 seconds to evaluate what's going on. It's literally right now, like you have to see it pre-snap and post-snap. You have to really read it right and know what they're adjusting to because they might show you cover two, but then they adjust to cover three. Now you ran a cover two route because you went off your pre-snap and you didn't really know what was going on. So that film just gives you that extra clue of what he's doing or what he might do. So like I said before, I wasn't studying anything. So I would go out there and just be lost like you know it'd be covered two corner i'm running my route wrong because i didn't realize he was coming up and the safety was going back you know i'm just looking at the corner i'm not really being aware of both of them so as i got older as i start watching i started to the game became easier because i'm realizing which way i'm going which way i'm not going which he taking away what he's not taking away so it's just things like that that i'm giving you guys tips on to help your guys's game at a younger age and when i really realized that I need to do this. And if you guys want to see me talk about coverages, uh, make a video about that, uh, what I'm seeing, how it rotates, uh, 
what I see pre-snap, uh, just let me know in the comments below, man. And I will definitely get to that, man. So I want y'all to like this video because this is some great tips, man. Like film study is a big key in people's success. And guys just, you know, they, they put it behind them or they don't worry about it because the talent or they think they're so smart, but it just takes you to another level. And I, a guy like Cooper Cup in college, for me, he kind of woke me up to that. Like, he was always watching film, always studying himself, his teammates, his opponent. And uh, that's why he was at another level so early. And that's why I feel like I was behind because I didn't do the little things that add up to the big things. So, yeah, that's key. So, y'all let me know, man, what y'all want me to do. And I will get those videos out, man, so I can show y'all really how I'm studying, how I see it, and so on and so forth. So, yeah, now that you guys know that, all those tips I gave you, uh, I'm going to kind of give you an insight of my iPad and what I do uh, when I study, uh, how I see myself uh, day to day uh, and to the future too. You know, when I mess up one day, I want to fix what I messed up the next day. So I really just study hard uh, myself, even watching my teammates, like I said, uh, watching what they do might help me uh, get better the next day. So I'm going to kind of just give y'all a little walkthrough of how I study and uh, what I do. So basically, you know, we go to practice, obviously, finish. Then uh, I'll probably just eat and then watch the film. We watch the film with our coaches before we leave the facility. But then I, you know, I get it on my own. Like, that's the extra little two cent that, you know, that guy might not be doing that I can get better than him. So I just think about it like that, you know, getting that extra film study. And uh, so I'll just go to, I try to watch literally everything. I try to watch uh individual drills like when we just running through drills catching i try to watch all of it and uh just see how i'm moving see if i'm moving better from yesterday see if i'm moving worse from yesterday and that's what's key you know because that's what the coaches see if you moving faster this day and then you come out jogging the next day they'll know and you're going to be evaluated that way they're going to question your effort they're going to question if you care and stuff like that so i try to just make sure i'm looking right uh, my posture is right, my uh, demeanor, everything about what I'm doing on film is speaks for my, you know, how I, how I get playing time, how the coaches evaluate me, how they look at me, how they trust me. It all plays a part. So um, I literally try to watch individuals first. I try to go from everything we do. So when we if we start with this drill, I watch that first. Then I try to go to what we go to next. We'll do like tackling drills where – we're just working on one-on-ones or then we'll get into the team stuff. So uh, when I'm watching like individuals and my feet work, I just, like I said, make sure I'm moving right. Uh, my feet work is crisp. Uh, my hands are right and things like that when I'm watching just my individual self. I still watch my other teammates during that time and just to see who's really out there. You could tell effort from different guys, you know, who's giving more effort than who's not. And so I just like to evaluate my teammates that way when we're going through stuff like that. But when we get into the uh, team stuff and 707, this is when I'm like watching uh, my depth, watching uh, how I'm attacking leverage. You know, if he's one side, how I'm attacking him to keep him there if I'm going out or if I'm trying to set him up to cross his face. It's just different things that I'm studying when I'm out there and when I watch it after. And um, what I've noticed by myself is um, I'm pretty – pretty consistent of what I'm seeing, what I'm doing. But then I'll just have those times when I do something that I like, man, dude, why, why did I do that? Or it just, that just made me irritated because I know I'm not supposed to do that. But then when I watch it, it's like, okay, I see why I kind of did that, but then I still shouldn't have done that. And that's what the film gives you. It gives you like that eye in the sky. You know, you don't know how it looks when you're out there because there's so much going on. But when you can see it from up top, uh, you just get a better feel of, what you thought you saw or what may have went better if you tried something else. So I just try to go off my mistakes, really, you know, and what I do good, I try to see what I could have done better. That's a big tip, too. Don't just go off the bad. You know, when you, if you beat somebody, study how you could have killed him. Like, and that's where I've taken my game to another point. But mainly is when I mess up uh, is what's going to make me remember to not mess up again when I watch it. Like I watch it a couple times and just seeing how I come off the ball. Maybe I could have came off faster. Maybe I could have came off more patient. Maybe I could have attacked them this way or that way. So it's just different things I see in myself that I, I want to work on if I need to work on. And in my teammates, if I see 
him do something that I'm like, dude, I, I'm going to try that. You know, I'll try it. But if it doesn't work for my body, it's like, okay, I can't do that. Like, my body doesn't work like that. We're all different. Everybody's different. Everybody moves different. So you don't want to take stuff that you can't do and then you go out there, it doesn't look good. Like, okay, that's out. And then you, you go to your next teammate or you go to something else he done. Then you try it again. And uh, that's where practice is dope too. Practice and film study. You, you're there to try new things. You're there to learn how your body works. You're there to master the, what your coaches are trying to teach you so that you know it to a T and you can go play free. That's the main thing. And uh, a lot of my routes, like I said, they do look pretty good, but I just try to watch to where like I'm really critiquing myself so hard to where, you know, when my coach critiques me, it doesn't even compare to how hard I already critique myself. So, you know, my skin is already thick enough because I, I evaluate myself. Uh, what's the word I'm trying to use? Uh, honestly, yeah, I evaluate myself honestly because, you know, that's that is not going to help me anyway. If I just lie to myself that that was good when it was average, you know, because I want to be remembered. I want to be great. We all want to be remembered. We all want to be great. And if you do these things, like I'm saying now, you will start to see yourself get better. Like off the field, like this is off the field training. This is, you know, you go into the field, it's physical. This is like just all mental. And that's where players struggle the most. You know, when you're at home chilling, you just want to be on the game. You just want to be on the phone. But this little extra hour that I put in has took me to another level that I couldn't even imagine because, but before, like I said, the first few years, I wasn't really studying. So how I study myself now, seeing coverages, um, seeing defenses, dude, has just helped me so much. And I just want to give you guys the tips to help you guys be in a position I'm in because I know that's what a lot of your guys' goals are. Appreciate all you guys watching, too. And so I'm just trying to help you guys get to that level, man, because it's not easy. But if you do the little things right, uh, it'll eventually build up, dude, because, like I said, I was avoiding this kind of stuff, and I could see the result of me avoiding watching film. Like, you know, like I said, I wasn't knowing what was going on. But then as I watched it, uh, got more comfortable with it, seeing exactly what defense is doing, knowing what the linebacker is doing from to the safety. Like, you know, well, you don't have to worry about the D-line because that's a whole other world. So, But if you can know what the linebacker is doing, especially at slot, um, I, I feel like you will be very solid um, and, and developing, getting better. And that's just key. Like, I did. I knew kind of corners and safeties. Like, you know, everybody knows cover two. Everybody knows cover three. But the backers is like, dude, they do different things at all times. You know, they can be in cover three, but they can switch it up and do different stuff. Like, they'll switch the corner, have him stay in the flat while the linebacker just stay in the hook. But it's still cover three. Like, it's just tough things that you have to learn and process over time, man. But... That's really how I study, man, overall. And, uh, like, studying your teammates and everything else, too, is really key, though. Like, I, I keep saying that, but you don't just want to watch yourself. Like, you want to watch your idols. You want to watch your rivals or whatever. Watch other players. Like, you don't have to just watch yourself. Like, you can go to YouTube and study a player that way. Like, there's so many different ways that you can get better and that I've just started to figure out. Like, and my dog was just telling me, like, I thought about it. I'm still learning as I'm right now, you know what I'm saying? So I can only imagine where you guys are and where I was. I've definitely come a long way, but I'm still even learning now, you know, like I'll have elders around me everywhere, like in the building, in the, the facility with me, there's elders and people that have been through everything that I'm going to go through. So like, I don't try to get ahead of myself. I don't try to fall behind. I, you know, I try to keep up and take all the learning as I go. Like, and just keep building and that's how i've seen myself get better and back to my point about uh evaluating yourself or critiquing yourself don't get too hard on yourself at the same time you know you're out there working you're out there trying that's big in itself you know what i'm saying there's some people won't even get up off the couch bro and go do it so don't ever get down on yourself about you messing up or you messing up five times in a row you tried again you know what i'm saying after the first mess up you tried four more times so Kudos to that, dude. And that that's how you get better. That's how you learn. Adversity is how you learn. You know, you get better. And uh, you can learn from people younger than you also. You know, I'm the type. I'm exactly that type. I don't get big headed to nobody. You know what I'm saying? I'm not too big to do, to listen to anyone. And that's what's key. And that's why I feel like I, you know, have, has, have gotten better because 
I can learn from a 15 year old, you know what I'm saying? Like if he does the drill better than me, I'm like I say, evaluating myself honestly, like bro, let's pick it up or let's fix it. And that could just be a drill. So when I'm watching film, um, I'm just watching a guy younger than me. And if he does it better, then I, you know, go off that, practice off that, learn off that and not be big headed or feel like I'm, you know, belittling myself because I listened or studied off a guy younger than me that came into the league or even a 14 year old that comes to work out with me. He might just look good or look good in that drill. And so that's just how life works, man. Like there's younger people that are probably smarter than me, dude. Like, and I don't, will never get offended by anything like that. And it, and going to my elders, I will never, ever get big time on an elder. You know what I'm saying? Whether he knows more than me or not, he's been through more than me. And that just speaks for itself. So uh, that's how I'm about, go about like learning from older people and younger people. And that's how we all should be really, because that's how you learn. That's how you get better. But if you be arrogant, you be biased to anybody, you know, that are, that's around you, then you don't get better. You don't learn. Uh, and you'll just never know how to get past that next level because you, you're too big headed to listen at any level, dude. So there's just levels to it, man. Like if you want to get past a certain level, you have to listen to the right people, put yourself around the right people. I want you guys to know how I feel, how I think, um, how I see things and I'm just giving you guys the full insight. So go like and watch all my videos, man, that I got up, man. I've been dropping a lot of videos. I appreciate all you guys, man. I want to see all you guys prevail and get better at your craft or whatever sports you play, man. And this goes for all sports. It, it's not just football. You know, everything kind of works the same. Like if you study in basketball, you study in soccer, you study in tennis, like you're evaluating yourself, you know, evaluate yourself honestly. Um, like I said, don't critique yourself too hard. And yeah, man, you guys will see yourself improve. Like, I've honestly seen myself go so much further watching film, uh, doing the little things than I was uh, my, in the beginning of my career. But like and subscribe to my channel, man. We finna have a merch soon. This is a new shirt I'm supposed to be coming out with soon around August, man. So I'm trying to get it on the YouTube. But I appreciate you guys again, man. Got a lot more videos coming. See, I got the fro now, man. So we going up, man. I appreciate you guys. So bring that bell too. So y'all know exactly when I'm dropping. Yeah! I know I had to go get it. 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 I'm out on days. I was trying to get paid. I remember all them days.